everyone, welcome back to my channel. Here is another pack with me because it is the start to my second favorite or even maybe my favorite time of year, the July 1st weekend. So usually we go to the cottage as a big family and we it's my mom's birthday and we do all these things together and it's kind of when I take, Andrew and I take the majority of our um, holidays. So. I'm going to do a little pack with me. It's going to be very interesting because I only have this carry-on and this for potentially staying two weeks. And I have all of this stuff, all of those cosmetics. Um, thankfully, I can fit some of them in other bags, but my goal is to get all my clothes in those two uh, bags. So it is going to be a challenge, uh, but I thought I would show you some of the stuff that I am bringing. Yeah, so let's just get right into it. Okay, so starting off, I'll just show you the swimsuits. I'm bringing one, this is Andrew's, one, three, about three swimsuits. So if you saw my vlogs from last year, I have this really cute um, kind of sailor inspired bikini with these high waisted bottoms, which I really like, and the little ruffles on the sleeve. So we have those. Then I have these bikini bottoms with this really awesome, this is my favorite, okay, it's really hard to tell, but it's like this wraparound top and it kind of goes down here and the bikini goes up here. It's my absolute favorite. I will probably spend most of the time in that. And then this year I decided to get a one piece because there are days where we're jumping in and out of the water and I don't want to have to worry about, you know, a bathing suit part falling off. So I picked up this one piece, which I really love. It's like this rust color, kind of mermaidy, and it's got this like texture. Really, really comfortable. I think it's quite flattering and the color is you know, something I don't own. I've never really worn this color, but I think it's complimentary. So those are my bathing suits. And I'm gonna try and pack them in this. I got this like free Victoria's Secret bag. Then for cosmetics, I picked this up because my friend Alex from Top Knots and Espresso Shots, she got this and I loved it. It's a way to keep your makeup organized and it stays organized the whole time. So I'll take this out, but as you can see, you can, they're adjustable little compartments and everything fits in there. So I did pick out the items that I, you know, use the most to take, but this was a great uh, little find. And then obviously I'm bringing eyelashes, so I'll stick that on top. And everything fits really good and it's nice that it stays like if the stuff items don't move around because the compartments go right to the top and to go along with that I actually found this separately at a different time at Nordstrom rack this it was called a makeup pencil case but I thought this would be great for my brushes so this is how I'm transporting them I love this because I hate when they get smushed and you know all clumped together and flattened but this is really nice to keep them standing up and protected to help aid me in the organization and packing i also picked up well i used these last year but i have these organizers so i gotta figure out how i'm gonna like one will probably be for my socks stuff like that and then i have this Kate Spade kind of cosmetic bag for like extra. Most excited about as well on Amazon that I picked up is this cosmetic or skincare bag and everything can stand upright and then you have a drawstring and you can shut it and it will all stand. Very excited about those. Those will all live in a different bag because we're just taking the car and just throw it in. So I'm bringing two kind of more like dressy outfits. I'm bringing this um, jumpsuit that I bought a few weeks back and I wore to my grad. It's really nice, high neck. And I'm bringing my white 
I'm bringing like four pairs of shoes <laughs> but I think this could be really nice dressed up or dressed down so I thought that this would be uh, a nice piece to bring you know if we're going out for brunch it just I like having options of like something a little bit dressier because you're at the cottage you're wearing like beach clothes raggedy clothes sometimes and going out for a nice dinner and getting dressed up just feels really good on holidays and then I'm bringing this bodysuit that I got from Aritzia which is a store here in Toronto it's really it's really really cute and it's got a low back it's I think it's super uh, universal like you can wear it with a lot of different pieces uh, yesterday I wore it paired with these uh, striped joggers so I'll bring these and as well as I usually wear these joggers with this top also from Aritzia one of my favorite outfits so those are like kind of three more dressed options that I have again I'm there for two weeks chances of me actually wearing these are like slim but it's nice just to have options I'm bringing two sweatshirts, this like really nice pink one that I got from Target and then my um, sweater from my school that I got that's really comfy cozy. You probably remember these from last year but these are my American Eagle overalls that I'm bringing. Very comfortable, they're also great to throw on over a bathing suit to like get on the boat or romp around at the cottage and these are fake holes which I appreciate so much then we always have to have a shirt on Canada Day so I picked these up last year um, but this is like my Canada Day tee that I will wear under my overalls same look as last year picked this up again I really didn't buy any new summer clothes because I did buy quite a bit last year uh, but this romper is from American Eagle and so comfortable I actually prefer to wear this to the beach because after when you're leaving and it gets wet it dries really quickly opposed to wearing jeans which take forever to drive and having to sit in the car with a wet bum is not fun so I uh, I'm definitely you know bringing this and it's a really cute color I don't own any of these rusty colors so I think that's nice to have as an option I did pick this up at the gap just as like a basic tee this is kind of my color this like really neon pink but I thought this would be nice again under the overalls or workout you know whatever I have a romper from American Eagle which I had bought this to go underneath my overalls I like not a romper a bodysuit I like bodysuits under the overalls because sometimes the shirt comes out those are like really low low rise um, overalls so if you're wearing a shirt you can it comes up and I don't really like that I also have this dress from last year super simple very comfortable really nice for like going into town running errands again throwing over my bathing suit um it has like a weird stain in the back do your clothes ever get that i washed this twice and i put resolve on it but did not get it out so that and then i have these two dresses that i wore a lot last year walter he's like about to push over my pile I'm not gonna unfold these because they're so nicely folded and then I couldn't go anywhere without my Adidas tee this is my absolute favorite t-shirt and also great to throw on with leggings going into town for dinner or whatever just low-key I'm also bringing this this is new this is an underarm like bomber sweater so nice I found this at winners which is like TJ Maxx Marshalls at, no actually I found this at Marshalls um, really lightweight which I love but thermal on the inside so I thought this would be great on those cold kind of cottagey nights but you don't want to wear something too heavy so I have that a 
Oh dang, there's so much. I have <laughs> one pair of jeans, three pair pairs of black leggings, and another pair of these Zara ripped jeans. I, I told you, I'm going for two weeks, so I feel like this is so much. And I didn't like pair it off in an outfit, except the Zara jeans. I thought I could wear it with this black tank and the FabFitFun um, kimono. I think that will be really cute. I need to bring this steamer. <laughs> how excessive I have pajamas and then one of my favorite pants right now are these they're like a dupe for the Lululemon ones I don't know what they're called but they're like these loose fitting athletic pants so comfortable I could I literally have been living in these but I had to wash them uh, and then I have this off the shoulder top which it used to be a dress, but I actually got it cut down to be a shirt. I like it so much better. Um, a robe. And then I have like a tracksuit here from Uniqlo. A workout shirt and then my Nike um, like running pullover. Okay, so that is everything that I'm bringing. So I'm going to try and fit everything in. Organize it. The one thing, uh, the other thing that I can show you is all the products that I'm bringing, which, oh, I feel like I'm bringing way too much, but I need them all and I use them all. Obviously, I would be nowhere without my Mario. I stopped doing Mario for a while, just did Drunk Elephant, did not cut it. So, I use the Drunk Elephant to take off my makeup and then I wash my face with the Mario. Um, and then I use this oil-free moisturizer as a night moisturizer, actually. And then I usually use this as, or sorry, opposite. I use this as a day moisturizer, this as a night moisturizer. So I need those. I have the drying lotion for all, for like my breakouts, because Lord knows that's gonna happen. And then some refreshing orange uh, aloe sage and orange this is my favorite scent ever if they had this in perfume I would wear it two razors because I can't find new um, razor heads so I thought if one starts dying then I'll use the other one vitamin C serum a little thing of hairspray face sunscreen uh, leave-in conditioner because my hair gets so dry while I'm there the between washes spray because sometimes I don't wash my hair as much as I should while I'm there and then this is really nice this is the Cara Colors Violet Toning Drops so I'm not bringing shampoo and conditioner my mom already has it up there but I'll bring this so I'll just add it into the shampoo that I have so I'm gonna try and fit everything well most things in here so again the nice thing is it sits like flat in there that all of this is super obsessive the packing cubes and all the bags but honestly I love being organized when I travel even at home um, I use the KonMari method these things that spark joy and Marie Kondo one of her methods that she teaches is this folding technique and I've implemented this for about a year and I love it it also works really well for the packing cubes and obviously you can see I'm refolding that. It doesn't always work or I always can't figure it out, but for the most part, it makes things super simple and really easy to make small and put in small spaces and for packing, I think it's great. If you would like to see a video on how to fold like this or more information, just let me know down below and I wouldn't mind showing you, but as you can see, they work great. I do this for my jeans. Unfortunately, I don't have the best size range when it comes to packing cubes, but I did my best and I think it worked out beautifully.
I am all packed and ready to go. The nice thing about this is that it sits on top of each other. And then I have this, and then I just have one bag full of shoes. Wonderful. Anyways, thank you so much. I hope you will look for the vlogs when they come up about my cottage time. Thank you again for watching. I hope that you enjoy this video, and I will see you again for another one. Bye.